The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. That is not a song that anybody sings when they see ants invading their house. Um, ants are kind of the bane of everybody's existence because they just seem to appear out of nowhere for no rhyme or reason and suddenly they're making trails across your kitchen, your kids' bedroom, playrooms, living rooms, anywhere that food might be. Um, so I'm here today to share with you exactly how I have been able to keep ants out of my house for over a decade. Yes, not a single ant has come in my house. Even though they might be outside, none of them have dared enter my living dwelling. <laughs> um, anyway, Jennifer here from Hybrid Rasta Mama. And uh, so let's chat about what it is I do and how I keep these little pesky ants out of my house. Um, first, diatomaceous earth. This beautiful big bag of what looks like absolutely nothing but powder. Um, but diatomaceous earth, um, is something that I recommend everybody have on hand because it is great for all kinds of different natural pest control. Um, it's basically a natural mineral dust and what it does is it dries out the exoskeletons of various pests. And so of course if you dry them out they die, right? Um, but better yet, it doesn't work immediately. So it, when it comes to ants especially, they walk through this stuff and then they take it back to their nest and they spread the love. And it's as simple as basically sprinkling it around the areas in and out, both in and out of your home, where the ants like to congregate. Um, now, so anyway, I have a very specific brand that I use and love, um, but really any diatomaceous earth should work. Um, I like to put it in piles so they really walk through it, but you can also um, use like, they, they do have a special duster that you can apply it to, or I'm sorry, put it in and then apply it with. Um, the one thing about diatomaceous earth is if you breathe in the particles as it's spreading, so it kind of kicks up a little bit of a dust, they can irritate your lungs. So it's always a good idea if you are going to um, sprinkle it around where it might create a dust to just wear a mask while you're doing that. Otherwise, if you just use a spoon and kind of drop it into piles, that's fine too. But, you know, just always put it around those areas where you like to have, um, you know, little critters coming and going, and they'll walk through it, take it back to their nests, and boom, everybody dies. Um, another method that's great to use is basically a liberal use of vinegar. So wipe that in places where you have spotted ants. Um, you can use straight vinegar, you can do like a 50-50 mix, but basically what it does is it removes ants scent trails. So ants leave a scent trail everywhere they go and as long as you wipe this up they're not going to know where they had, had been. Um, so a lot of times they just get discouraged and leave completely. Um, this is a great thing to use on outdoor patio furniture I just get one of those sprayers that attaches to the hose and I fill it with vinegar and I put it on uh, a low water and I just spray everything outside with that vinegar. Works very, very well. Um, I haven't had as much success with this, but some people really love coffee grounds, um, especially in the garden area because the coffee grounds are actually great for your plants, but ants don't like the smell at all. You don't need anything fancy, you can just get some cheap Folgers or whatever is out there that's on sale and cheap and sprinkle that around. Um, also, citrus. Um, oh gosh, a lot of bugs don't like citrus, so this is kind of a great carryover thing for various bugs. Um, but you want to take citrus peels and put them in hot water and let that soak overnight, and then basically just pour it all around where ants are found. Um, it deters, like I said, a lot of other bugs too. And, um, and so usually this is better for outdoor use, obviously, because you just don't want to be pouring water all through your house. Um, and basically the citrus peel water, I like to put kind of around plants. Uh, there's a lot of different dry herbs and spices that are known to work because ants hate the smell of them. They don't like bay leaves. They don't like cayenne or chili pepper. They hate black pepper. They're not a big fan of cinnamon or mint. Uh, oh, they don't like turmeric. They don't like cloves and they don't like garlic. So you can crush one or multiple of uh, these various herbs up and then just sprinkle them in front of the areas the ants tend to either hang out in or come in through. Also pine essential oil. Ooh, boy. Fire ants especially hate pine. So spray the areas where you're seeing fire ants and the fire ants will stay clear. Um, and this is a very, very affordable way to deal with fire ants, which are a little bit more tricky than just your standard you know, household black ant. Um, a tansy plant is actually something that you would plant and you would actually kind of keep it around the perimeter of your home. 
um, to discourage ants from coming and they really do work. I have tansy plants and I have them in various strategic locations where I know it would be easy for ants to enter and they don't come in through those areas at all. Um, neem oil is another great thing to keep on hand for all kinds of bugs, especially bird mites. Um, but anyway, neem oil is great to use inside your kitchen shelves, your cabinets, pantries, things like that. Basically dip the cloth in the neem oil and then wipe the shelves in the cabinets. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, don't dip it in straight neem oil. Um, the brand I recommend actually is already diluted, but uh, otherwise you want to take about five drops of neem oil to about a half a cup of water. And then dip the cloth in that and wipe everything down. And Oh boy, that works very, very well, and that's something that I do just to keep a lot of bugs out. Um, also, if you find that ants are heading for things like honey or sugar specifically, because of course they really can sniff those things out and love them, um, what you want to do is just take your honey jar or your sugar jar, put it on a plate, and then just put a little water down there, because the ants can't. They can't get across the water and then that's gonna you know deter them from getting to your sweet stuff and they'll give up and move along um, also there are some natural bug sprays and ant sprays and things like that there's one in particular that I really like called eco defense and that's great um, it's uh, has no odor it's very safe to use around other pets and children and things like that um, and it gets the job done. So when I see ants outside, um, especially we get a lot of ants about this time of year um, in fall here in Arizona, the ants really start to come up. Um, and they actually can be very destructive here because, oh boy, they will actually move. Like if you have a paver stone type system in for your patio or driveway or things like that, uh, they can actually start shifting those. So it's really important to get after those little buggers when they're outside. Um, and that's what I use and it kills them and they seem to move along and not come back. So that is a great way to deter ants naturally using a, a really, really reputable product. Um, so anyway, but I really, you know, for me, I think the key things that have kept ants out of my home are planting those tansy plants. Um, and again, like I said, I put those in strategic locations where I know ants could right, likely get in. Also, um, the diatomaceous earth and keeping that sprinkled everywhere. And that just works, again, great for so many little critters and whatnot. So really keeping, you know, and that's not something, you don't have to have that through your whole house. Again, it's in areas where normally the ants would come in. Um, and um, and then also the neem oil and wiping down the cabinets and shelves and things like that with that. So um, those are my three that I consistently use and have found success with, although all the others are great to have on hand and keep in mind as well. So anyway, I wish you luck in your battle with the ants and certainly reach out any questions you might have.